I'm terribly disappointed with this compost. It's been composting for three months. It looks really good, but it's not mature and it still has some odor. I'm upset because I've composted this same material in a three-week process. I used aeration and mixing and I achieved a much better compost that was far more mature. So what's different with this compost? I composted this material without forced aeration and I did it for three reasons. First, I didn't have access to electricity for a time. And second, I wanted to test a concept put out by a prominent composting engineer. He testified that composting with minimal oxygen, it's an excellent compost process that results in ultra low emissions. And third, some composters are composting poultry litter without aeration, which has led to some odor issues. I wanted to understand more about this. The concept of low oxygen composting flies in the face of my understanding of microbiology and my experience. It also contrasts with most other compost experts' opinion and experience, but it was an opportunity to test the concept. I blended poultry litter with wood chips at a volume ratio of 50-50, and I added liquid dairy cattle manure to create the optimal moisture content. I mixed it well. I placed it in a pile that was about 8 feet high and 15 feet wide. The temperature rose to 60 to 70 degrees Celsius very quickly. The oxygen stayed near zero. I was achieving this low oxygen composting. I blended it three times during the next three months and maintained it at 50 to 60 percent moisture. The compost turned nice and dark. It looked really good. After screening, I made a couple of amazing observations. The ovaries began steaming. The porosity allowed cold air and oxygen to go through the pile. It did not do this during the three months of composting. The oxygen content in the ovaries was now 18% and the temperature 55 degrees Celsius 24 hours after screening. In contrast, the oxygen content of the fines was still almost zero and the temperature took longer to increase. There are at least two reasons why I would not do this again. First, the odor during the process, and now after three months, was in my opinion significant. I took a small sample home to do some maturity testing, and I and my family were annoyed by the smell. I can certainly understand how neighbors around this process could be frustrated. Second, this process took way too much valuable time and space. I could have produced a better compost in three weeks. I had done it already, rather than this disappointing product after three months. Composting requires space, and a properly designed compost pad is expensive. So for the sake of efficiency and the well-being of our communities, let's figure out how to compost well. So. Is this low emission composting at very low oxygen concentrations a thing? Well, perhaps, but it's certainly not a thing to me, and it absolutely makes no sense to me. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.